Hi guys, in this video we're going to start by thinking about mixtures before moving on to simple distillation and fractional distillation and we'll finish off with a summary. If you've seen our video on pure substances, you'll know that chemists use the word mixture in order to describe two or more substances not chemically combined together. For example, if we have four different colours of beads, in a mixture of these beads, we can still identify each of the different colours and the essential qualities of each bead that is now in the mixture have remained unchanged. The equivalent of the colour of each of these beads in this mixture, in chemistry, is the chemical properties of each component, which are unchanged in the mixture. As a result, mixtures can be separated by physical processes, where physical processes are those that don't involve a chemical reaction. A really useful example of these for separating mixtures is distillation. We can start by thinking about simple distillation which is used to separate out a liquid from a mixture. A common example used in industry is to separate pure water out from seawater. The setup used to carry out simple distillation is known as a simple distillation column and is shown in this diagram, where all the key features have been labelled. The mixture, which in this case is seawater, is placed into a conical flask. This mixture is then heated, and as a result, the component of this mixture with the lowest boiling point will evaporate first. This component will form a vapour, which is just another name for the gas phase version of the component. This vapour will rise out of the conical flask and through into an area of the apparatus known as the condenser. The condenser is kept cool by the action of water which flows around the pipe on the outside of the condenser. Therefore, as the vapour enters the condenser, it is cooled down and it condenses. Condenses just means it goes from gas back to liquid. The pure liquid can then be collected in a container below the condenser, whereas any components of the initial mixture with a higher boiling point will be left in the flask. This simple distillation method can therefore be used to separate substances that have significantly different boiling points to each other. If a mixture is made up of two liquids which both have similar boiling points to each other, then both liquids will evaporate and then condense, and there will be no separation. The mixture will just move from this conical flask into this flask at the end. Simple distillation is useful for getting pure water out of salt water because the salts dissolved in salt water have boiling points that are thousands of degrees. Therefore, the only component of the salt water mixture that vaporises and then condenses is the pure water. Fractional distillation is an improved method of distillation that can be used to separate mixtures with boiling points closer to each other. The extra piece of equipment used in fractional distillation compared to simple distillation is known as a fractional distillation column, and you can see that in this diagram. Again, the mixture starts in a flask, and the product collects on the other side, after travelling through a condenser, which is kept cool by the action of flowing water. A thermometer at the top of the column helps you to figure out what temperature has been reached. The fractional distillation column is a very long and thin glass column, which is filled with glass beads. These glass beads act as a surface for vapour, or the gas, to condense on as it travels up the column. The fractional distillation method is based upon the fact that different liquids have different boiling points, so they will evaporate at different temperatures. Remembering that evaporate just means to go from liquid to gas, or boil. Therefore, the liquid with the lowest boiling point will always evaporate first. And in a very similar way to the simple distillation model, this will then travel up the column and through the condenser where it will cool and reform the liquid in this product collection area. The important difference between the simple distillation setup shown on the right and the fractional distillation setup shown on the left is that the column is much longer in the fractional distillation model. This means that any other liquids evaporating will only reach part way up the column before they will cool down and return back to the original beaker. This is because the long column is very warm at the bottom due to the action of heat but will be much cooler towards the top. The glass beads also add additional surfaces for the vapours to cool on. Therefore, if the top of the distillation column has not reached the boiling point of the liquid, it will condense back down into the original flask, rather than making it through the condenser to the product. This is what happens when the heat is not fully sufficient to evaporate the higher boiling point liquid, and only the liquid with a lower boiling point will reach this collection flask. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you are looking for an amazing GCSE chemistry resource, join me today in my series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials. Just click the stat revised smiley face and together let's make GCSE chemistry a walk in the park.